Hello everyone, my name is Alexander and I represent Galileo Sky Technical Support Team. How do monitoring system and GPS trackers work and what determines the accuracy of the coordinates? In general, the process is rather simple. The tracking device receives signals from satellites that determine the object location in real time. All the information received is transmitted to the monitoring server and, as a result of that, we can see the track. How are coordinates calculated? The satellite navigation system consists of three segments. The first is space. This is a grouping of satellites that fly around the Earth and send signals to the surface. The next one is ground. It includes stations to control and monitor these satellites. The stations track their current location, update their orbital position and also carry out calibration of their atomic clocks. And the third segment is the tracking devices, which receive the signal and determine the object location coordinates. The space segment is designed in such a way that at any moment at least four satellites are visible from any point of the Earth's surface. You may wonder why four? The coordinates are determined by the distance from the satellites to the tracker. It is impossible to determine location connecting just to one satellite, as it can be at any point in the sphere around the satellite. Data from the second satellite narrows the receiver's location to a circle. Information from the third satellite gives us two points, one of which is on the surface and the second is either in the sky or underground, and only data from the first satellite can uniquely determine the coordinates. Each satellite transmits the so-called almanac, which includes information on the satellite positioning. These are general data that could be inaccurate and valid from one to several months. In addition to the almanac, the satellites transmit their own ephemerides. These are the parameters of the orbits and hours for each satellite. It is the ephemerides that determine the exact coordinates and are valid for only 13 minutes. If the tracker is on for the first time or after a long period of rest, it is called cold start. The device establishes a connection with one satellite first and receives its almanac. After that, it starts receiving ephemerides from each satellite and calculates the exact coordinates. There are four main satellite systems – American GPS, Russian GLONASS, European Galileo and Chinese Beidou. All of them have a set of satellites that go around the Earth in different orbital planes at an altitude of several tens of thousands of meters and transmit signals to the Earth on several frequency bands. Only two satellite systems provide the 100% coverage of the globe. It's GPS and GLONASS. That's exactly why Galileo Sky Tracking devices work with them. As we have already mentioned, to determine the coordinates of a tracker, you need to measure its distance to the satellite. This is determined by the speed of radio waves, which depends on different factors, that can also give an error in the accuracy of the coordinates. First, on its way to the surface, the satellite signal passes through the ionosphere and troposphere. A collision with ions or water vapor slows down the speed of the signal which can lead to an error in determining the range. This effect can be compared to the refraction of a light beam passing through the glass. Besides, the signal can be reflected from a nearby object, a lake or a building. Or because of the error of atomic locks on satellites, no matter how accurate they actually are. Finally, the accuracy is affected by the receiver's own noise, which can suppress the weak signal from satellites. To reduce the error, the manufacturers of tracking devices use modern electronic components and special software filters. Because of that, only high-quality components with a minimum service life of 10 years are used in Galileo Sky trackers. The devices themselves undergo multi-stage quality control before shipment. Galileo Sky trackers create the most accurate track and serve as a multifunctional device. With their help, you can read any data from any vehicle can bus in just a few minutes. And also, you can create any algorithms via easy logic technology for your requirements. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye!